and I'm here with Whitey Folk. Uh, Whitey, man, you've been having a good run down here, buddy. Yeah, it's been real good. We've we know this track like the back of our hand. We've raced here for 23 years now, so it's, we've had real good success here. Well, and I think you were telling me earlier, uh, man, you live five miles up the road. You can't beat that. I mean, can't, <laughs> can't beat that. Everybody says, why don't you go travel? And really, this is economically the best way. And, and Ron keeps such a good racetrack, and it's, you really can't afford not to race here on Friday yeah. nights. But uh, I believe uh, three championships in a row here, and what was the other number? We won seven total. We won 2000, 2001, 2002, and some more in the middle of there. And whatever I didn't win, my brother did. So <laughs> we kind of keep it in the family. But I think this year is going to be a little tough because we got some real good competition. Yeah. Speaking about 2011, uh, I think I heard you tell somebody earlier, uh, new car, new chassis. Uh, tell us a little bit about the car you're going to be running and the motor. Well, we got brand new chassis, brand new design. We don't know what it's going to do. We went over rail and we went with the lift arm. and We're just trying something new for upcoming years. It seems like if you don't try something, you're going to get left out really quick. I was going to say, technology changes so fast in racing anymore that you, you, you're almost put out on a limb. You just about have to go out there and do it, don't you? You have to try. You got to struggle. You got to struggle for a while till you pick it up. And What's you know, a lot of people can't can't afford to go uh, go spend you know twenty twenty five thousand dollars on a brand new car. So we we build we build all of our own stuff. Yeah. Okay. Just for the sake of naming it, what is the chassis name and who who builds the motors? It's Mach One Race Cars. Uh, we started building in two thousand eight. And my dad builds all of our engines, Folk Brothers Racing Machine Shop, and we do all of our own stuff. That way we win, we know what we got. Okay, that's all out of Iola. All out of Iola, all out of the same shop. We build the motors and the race cars and everything out of one shop. Okay, talking about this race tonight, I know you set out the race down at uh, in Oklahoma last night, but uh, you came to this one, and like you were saying earlier, you may have the straightest sheet metal. <laughs> Yeah. Of any car out here. Yeah, I'm good friends with the owner at Coffeeville, and he told me the track was a little too wet. And I kind of took that as a sign not to go. So I just, I wasn't even going to come tonight, but, you know, I'm not I'm not really looking to win anything tonight. Maybe uh, making the A feature would be a plus, but I just want to learn the car and find out what's going on with it, hopefully for a good run. Okay. What do you think about how this track is going to be tonight? I know a lot of times, boy, first night out on the racetrack, uh, things can be a little shaky, which may have been proven yeah. last night down there. Yeah. But uh, what do you think here? I, I've been here two years in a row, and it's been a great track both times I've been. Yeah. Well, I uh, play day was really slick. It was tearing tires up, but it was smooth. And I think tonight he's going to have a little bit more water on it. I think it's going to be really fast. Uh, I don't think it'll it'll rubber up or anything like that, but there's a lot of cars tonight. I think this is about as many cars we've ever seen at, at the track at once. So it's going to be a learning experience. And the new, the way the track's configured now, the back straightaway is a little bit wider. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a good show. Yeah. Who? Uh, this is probably a really dumb question because there are so many. <laughs> but uh, who, who's going to be the? Do you think's going to be the guy to beat tonight? Boy, this Gustin guy, Johnny he has Bone been Jr. Tough. Johnny Bone Jr. will be the one to, I think, to take it. He is so fast on a regular show. He just seems like he's unbeatable. He, I don't know what he's got figured out, but he has got it. He's so, got it going. He's got it going. <laughs> it seems like last year he's he's bringing the momentum from last year into this year, and he's fast. I was going to say, he won some big ones last year. And yes, he did. Sometimes that carries over, and sometimes they're just like you, man. Yeah. They're out there trying to figure yeah. it out with new stuff. Well, he raced with us every week and makes it really good that way because, you know, when, when he's running up front, then we can kind of get our stuff figured out to run with him. So it really benefits us racing with him every week. Well, okay, we are going to have a couple of cameras mounted on the car. We got one looking forward, one looking back, and uh, we're looking forward to uh, getting out there in the heat race with you and just seeing uh, what's going to happen. So we're going to uh, stay in touch with you, and uh, Whitey, we're going to check back with it after the heat race and see what you think, how the car was and the track and all that. So uh, should be interesting. Usually, when I have something, it's a wild ride, so it should be <laughs> should be some pretty good footage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're looking forward to it, but like I say, we'll check back in with you after the heat race. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Well, Whitey, we uh, come out here uh, to see how the track was looking. I know it, this is really a preliminary check of how anybody could really look at this and say, well, yeah, I think it's going to be all right, because it really looks wet right now. But uh, uh, just what are your thoughts right now? The track looks really good. It's going to be smooth. I think the heat race is going to be on the top, maybe a little bit off, you know, 
middle to top, and then the feature, I think everything's going to go to the bottom unless you're bumping the cushion in the feature. But there's a lot of cars, so it's going to be kind of interesting to see how the track works out because I know he's pulled in 800 to 1,000 loads of dirt. So it's going to be kind of interesting to see how everything holds together on it. Well, like you say, uh, really, in a way, kind of a different track from last year. So really, uh, the USMTS guys are going to be more or less the same boat you are. Right. They're going to be searching and looking for something. Yep, this is all new. This is new for everybody. And I think that if Ronnie finds something wrong with it after night, he will definitely fix it. So that's one good thing about Ron is if he finds something that isn't really right, finds a bump or anything, he will fix it for yeah. the next week. Well, okay, Whitey, uh, we'll go on back to the pits and uh, see if you're going to make any. I guess the car is ready. Car's ready to go. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> okay, we'll check with you after the heat race. Okay. I'm sorry you can't run these. Whitey, I'm sorry you can't run these, but already get me before we even start. <laughs> is he confiscating those, Whitey? He's confiscating them. I got my trash. The trash control you sensor wanna, is in there. You want to sign them for me so I can go sell them up in the, your hand stands? You might have to pay somebody to take them. No. <laughs> Here you go. Thanks. Thank you. I'll see you a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to go sell them. <laughs> you want to sign it though? No. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll bring it back after the race. I'm going to find you after the races. Yeah. <laughs> Ari taking stuff off the car. <laughs> Did you make contact with the wall up there, buddy? Is that what happened? I think I did. I seen it coming, and I, I figured I'd get it harder than I did, and I just, I didn't feel it hit, but I glanced off of it. But we're minor damage now. We're ready to race. <laughs> Not new anymore. <laughs> yeah. Not, Not new anymore. Up. We're ready. Car felt good too. That was the main thing. All the way to the ring, all the way to the bottom. Well, down there, we're three and four. I went to nine three.
we got one of those too. Hate to bother your whitey, but what happened, buddy? We threw the fan belts off, and hopefully yeah. that uh, we didn't hurt anything when it went off. But I think we're going to be able to get it fixed to run a B feature. Here. Uh, Hopefully we're not in the beat, but I think we are. Man, it looked like he was just starting to make some headway there. and uh, Yeah, when I got the lead, I seen the smokes, I started backpedaling a little bit, and then it picked back up a little bit. But it was fun, I'm glad the car is actually working good. Yeah. Well, Whitey uh, had a good run going there, and uh, something come loose on the motor? Yeah, we put a, put a diesel fan blade on it. It got, it's pulling so much air, it sucked the belt right off of it. So. You're kidding me. Oh, we put the smaller fan on it, and hopefully we can get it going. Yeah. I just want to make a show about it. Yeah. So you're going <laughs> to be in one of the B's now, and you're going to have a fairly good starting position in I the B. I hope so. I hope so. Second row inside. Second row inside. Third, third one? Third? Yeah. Okay. Second row inside, third heat. So yeah. there's, there's a really good chance you're going to yeah. get in there. I think we're going to be okay. Depending on if something happens and we get in a wreck, but them B's are loaded up sometimes. Yeah. So. I think we should be okay. I think we were, we were just discussing earlier though, I mean the car was working great, you were yep. on the move, looked yep. like you were going to win that double. Yep. I hope, I was hoping, but I'm just glad that the new setup worked good. All right. Well, we're we'll excited. check back in with you after the A main and uh, see okay. how things go and uh, Sounds good. maybe we'll meet in the winter circle. I hope so, thank you. <laughs> uh -huh. field into turn three. Rodney Sanders in the number two spot. John Allen back there in the fourth and Justin Polk in car six. The top four. We've got one up into the wall. Looks to be car number 90. Terry Schultz. Terry Schultz out of Sedalia in a Mach 1. And he will bring out the caution one down. Okay, let's do it. Here they come off a of turn four. We're going green. Terry Beckham leads Rodney Sanders in second. Third place is Volk, and here comes Gustin in car number 19. John Allen on the outside looking in in car number 98. As we are good to go, they fill up half this speedway with the U.S. MTS Casey General Store Modified Racing Action. Our pole center to Webb City, Missouri. The Thunder Graphic Hatfield Race Engine, Terry Beckham. Now front, pulling away now. And you see Rodney Sanders just starting to skate that car, getting tight. Tight as it goes in, and it goes to the bottom, and then goes right up the top. Then you catch it and drive it off as Folk and again Augusta to Tom Four. Ryan Gustin now looking inside of Justin Holt for the number three spot. Content to ride in fourth as you see the 22 car. Rick Beebe now, the 22B, starting to move up as he knows the laps are winding out as he sits in that fifth spot on the outside. Again, a B feature number three.
Casey. Again, Brian Rowland. The 11 is Scotty Bow. The 11 G is John Drake. Battling for position. Sanders, he's there. Reeled him right in. As this field continues to run, green flag left. Beckham now clears. Polk, and there comes Gustin, your top four. Justin Polk from Iola, and at Mach 1, Con number 6, with Gustin in third and fourth as they dice their way up through lap traffic. Turn four with that high groove coming in. Starting to put the rubber down. And he looks again inside Beckham for the lead. And he won't have anything to do with that. The Allen Motorsport F right custom sheet metal coming to the white flag. We've got one to go. Coming up now with a 10 of Mark Hurd. What happened? Smoke. I'm not sure. It must have blown it away. As they come to the checker flag, hit it on. It will be. Again, your winner. Terry Beckham at the line with Rodney Sanders in both seconds. Who won that? What happened to Beckham? Beckham won it. Beckham won it. Beckham won it. Well, Whitey, I'm sure it wasn't quite the run you wanted out there in the A main. Uh, you pulled in after, uh, oh, I don't know, way over halfway. What happened? Oh, we were just burning tires up, and there wasn't no use sitting out there and getting in everybody's way, so I wasn't going to make no more money, and I know what the car is going to do, so we pulled off. We had a good, real good run, though. At least we made the show. I was going to say, like we talked much earlier this evening, you were really kind of here just to find out what the car was doing. You hadn't planned on coming. Right. So uh, you had a good night. We had a real good night. I was really excited. The new car is going to work. On a regular show, I think we're going to be really good. With the chip rule, with this design, it's going to be really, really fast. Yeah. Well, all I can say, uh, Whitey, is uh, thanks a lot 